We have another question from Canada. Tony, who's 17, from Canada, writes, uh, I wonders, how long does it take you to produce a song from the initial conception to the final recording and editing phase? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I guess it probably varies from... from it, does, it does vary, and for me, it's really different than most artists. Because I'll I'll do I'll do a couple of songs. It could be five, six, seven, or eight or ten of them, and throw them all away and start over. So that's a difficult question to ask me. I wonder if is there a specific, maybe a specific song on the album, say Invincible. You know, how long? You know, when do you remember like getting the first inspiration for that song, and then maybe the day when you finally said, you know what, this is it. I've got it exactly the way I want it. Song Invincible itself. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, yes, uh, I remember having the guys go back in and create more innovative, because we don't, um, this is our thing, we don't uh, put a lot of sounds on the album that are sounds from keyboards uh, that are, uh, you know, pretty much programmed into the machine mm-hmm. throughout and make our own sound. Mm-hmm. Hit on things, we beat on things. <laughs> so nobody can duplicate what we do. We make them with our own hands. With, with, we find things and we create things. And uh, that's the most important thing to me, to be a pioneer, be an innovator. Absolutely. Now we have Vernay, who uh, writes to us from Newark, Delaware, in the good old USA. And uh, Vernay uh, says, I'm so pleased with the new album, but I was particularly touched by Speechless. What was your inspiration for this song? Speechless was inspired to me by... Um, I was. I spent a lot of time in the forest. I like to go into the forest, and I like to climb trees. My favorite thing is to climb trees. Mm-hmm. I go all the way up to the top of a tree, and I look down on the branches. Whenever I do that, it inspires me for music. And there are these two sweet little kids, a girl and a boy, and they're so innocent. They're the quintessential form of innocence. And just being in their presence, I felt completely speechless because I felt I was looking in the face of God whenever I saw them. Mm-hmm. And they inspired me to write speechless. Well, and that answer actually might uh, touch on this next uh, question which we have, which wonders, where do you look for inspiration when you write your songs? Does inspiration come from a variety of different places? Well, the best songs that are written write themselves. You don't ask for them. They just drop into your lap. Then there are those songs that, you know, you kind of uh, incubate. You know, you plant the seed, let the subconscious take its course, and within time you hope something comes, and most of the time it does. I don't believe in the concept of writer's block. That is a bad word. You create it when you say it. It's no such thing. Um, like any painter or sculptor, they paint, they do their best work when they're in their 60s and their 70s. Fred Astaire did his best dancing when he was in his 70s. Mm-hmm. Angelo sculpted late into his 50s and 70s, doing brilliant, ingenious work. And But in the music business, some of these great artists have become stumped because they've self-abused themselves and they're young age so early with all these crazy things they drink and pills and things in... Uh, that's just not good. Right. It's just not a good thing. I hate to say that to hurt anybody, but we should take care of our bodies a little more. No, I think a lot of people realize, you know, that they've damaged themselves. You know, many people have talked about it in recent years, you know. Yeah. We have a question from Alan here who uh, asks, if you think that uh, Rodney Jerkins and you have created a new sound for 2001. The song 2000 what? He says, uh, "Have do you feel that you and Rodney Jerkins, of course the producer, have um, uh, created a new sound for 2001? 2001? Yes. Oh, um, that would be a nice thought, yes. <laughs> what was it like working with him? How did how did you guys meet and, and, you know, how did your collaboration go? He was this guy who went around Hollywood and around the industry saying his dream was to work with me, to everybody. <laughs> I was at Carol Bear Sager's house, who's this great songwriter, won several Academy Awards for her songwriting, and 
See, if there's a guy you should work with, his name is Rodney Joseph. He's been crying to me, begging to meet you. I mean, why don't you pick up the phone and you say hi to him? And he came over that day and he said, please, my dream is to, to work with you. He said, just give me two weeks and I'll see what I can come up with. And uh, we ended up working together. Uh, what and uh, what were your impressions of him? Like, as you know, just somebody did. What did he bring? What did you feel that um, you know his contribution was? His contribution was he loved to create uh, in the same kind of way that I like to create. But I push Rodney. Mm -hmm. I push and push and push and push him <laughs> to create, uh, to innovate more, to pioneer more. He's a real musician. He is a real music, and he's very dedicated, and he's real loyal, and he's just, he has perseverance. I don't think I've seen perseverance like his than anyone, because you can push him and push him, and he, and he doesn't get angry. He, um, he's just a great guy. He really is. That's a great compliment. And, um, and Teddy Riley is just uh, incredible. He, he's innovative, too. I love working with him. And you had worked with him in the past, of course. Yeah, he's one of my favorite. As a human being, he's one of my favorite people in the world. He's just a really sweet, kind guy. You know, and Rodney's very funny. You laugh all day when you're with him. He, <laughs> when he, he turns his music up in the studio and he starts dancing around the room, it's <laughs> just funny. I'd like to remind everyone, you're on Get Music. We're here talking with Michael Jackson, whose new album, Invincible, is out on October 30th. You can check it out at michaeljackson.com. You can pre-order it on Get Music. Now, we have a question from uh, It's Jackson, who is really named Rachel from Connecticut. Wonders, do you have any new dance moves that you've invented while you were making your album? For the first time working on any album, I put a halt to dancing because I was uh, just so engrossed and so infatuated with what I was doing. Um, uh, I did something that was very unusual. But once the music started playing, of course, I started to dance. But um, uh, it's starting to now create itself. And uh, with the music playing, I'm coming up with some new things. But that's coming in the future with the newer short films. They'll be seeing they'll be seeing all kind of new innovative things in movement that have never been seen before. We'll go places you know where we've never gone and danced before. Because all the hip hop things that are happening now are beginning to look like aerobics. Uh huh. Uh, it's kind of getting annoying. <laughs> so. We have a question from uh, Simon. Who you know you've obviously mentioned you know uh, obvious all the people who have wanted to work with you. He wonders, Michael, who would you love to do a duet with, past or present? Uh, if it's past, it would be somebody like um, uh, I would say Sarah Vaughan or Nat King Cole. Present, Fantastic. I think uh, Whitney Houston is brilliant, and Barbara Streisand has a beautiful voice. You know, those kind of artists mm -hmm. that are just wonderful. What's your impression of some of the artists who have come on the scene just in recent years? You know, people like Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera, you know, young pop stars who are obviously hugely popular. You know, you I obviously, you know, Britney participated in your show uh, at the Garden. You know, what, what, what was your sense about her? I think for the new breed that are coming up, they're doing a very good job. And what impressed me more about any of these artists, like uh, Spears and Christina, they're so determined. Absolutely. I I've heard about the way they work. They'll work on a dance step, I mean, like for months. And to, to get it right, you know, uh, they're just so determined. They, and I've met, I've met Brittany several times, and she was very sweet and humble. She came to my room, and we quietly talked for a couple of hours. And she was just uh, like a...